Hello, this is Annalie Chanda from Go Norfolk. I am a local wellness coach and the creator of the project Go Norfolk, which is all about empowering people to get outside and be active around Norfolk County. Today I'm inviting you to follow me around Wagon and Wheel Produce and Corn Maze. This is a fantastic place to be active, to be walking. There's a very exciting maze that I'm excited to show you. And there's also a very cool event happening here this weekend. Uh, I have a little bit of surprise for you and I'm excited to show you. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. I will let you know about this spectacular location right here in Norfolk County. So let's go check out the maze. Follow me. So this is a great corn maze. It's actually 12 acre on their property that they transform into an amazing maze every, uh, every fall. So it's open already every weekend through September. You can come on Saturday and Sunday to walk through this maze. Um, you'll see this is designed with a Canada 150 theme this year and it's very cool. Um, <laughs> I love it already. So this is a great place to walk. If you're coming around with your family, expect to walk for about an hour through. So this is a great way to fit some exercise in um, while having fun with your family. I'll show you around the property. There's a lot of games and other things going on. So this wagon wheel product, produce rather, and corn maze is located just west of Simcoe on the 7th concession. So just really a few minutes out of town, nowhere too crazy, uh, really easy to find. I'm just hoping I'm not getting lost in this corn maze right now. <laughs> Uh, so this is a good way to be active. I was just blogging about different uh, places where you could walk around Norfolk County this fall just to switch things up. Sometimes we get into the same routine of walking in the exact same places and it's kind of boring. So why not go explore what Norfolk County has to offer? And look at this. Wow. Very neat. So as I mentioned, they are open through September's uh, on weekend daytime. In October, they are opened um, at night as well, so Saturday, Friday night, Saturday night, so you can come with your flashlight and explore the maze. <laughs> Sounds fun, I know my kids are, will be into it and I hope that you want to get out and explore nature with your family as well. They also have a very cool event coming up on October 28th and this is going to be a bit scary. Uh, really close to Halloween, so there be a haunted maze going on here. So imagine being at night in this space and have some creepy stuff moving around, freaking you out. I'm up for it. I would love the adrenaline of that. <laughs> so this is the corn maze. I'm inviting you to come and check it out. Take some time to be out for a walk with your family. But on this property, there's actually a lot more than just the maze. This is enough to keep you busy for a whole afternoon for sure. There's a lot of games the kids love. I was just out here this weekend. They were hosting a music festival called Cornstalk. And it was really a good time to be out listening to live music. And the kids love what's on the property. There's some very cool little tractors that you can uh, ride around. It's everything to keep you moving and keep you active. So I am leading up to my little surprise here. I saw those people show up. <laughs> Uh, because there's something going on exciting this weekend here on the property at Wagon Wheel Produce and Corn Maze. So we'll be meeting some different people. So thanks for tuning in. If you are just um, listening now, this is Emily Chanda from Go Norfolk. I empower people to be active around Norfolk County and this location is a fantastic place to do so. So let me turn around so I can show you a little bit of my surprise. Oh, good. Okay. Hey, how are you? Yeah, welcome. Wow, awesome guys. Hi Emily. Hi Robin, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Very good. So this is Robin from Nature's Calling. So thanks for showing up today and Wonderful. meeting with me. Thank you for coming. Yeah, so uh, there's a really cool event going on this weekend. There is. I'm okay. so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about it. So what we're having is, uh, it's called Shining Times. It's a mountain man rendezvous. So what we're doing is uh, we're having uh, reenactors come to the site. Uh, and reenactors are people that recreate history. Okay. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be recreating uh, history of the trappers and traders times. So that's pre-1840. So uh, there'll be so many things to see, so many activities, displays, demonstrations, interactive, inquiring based learning, uh, lots of hands-on activities. Uh, with me, I have two friends here today. I have uh, Kevin and Eddie, and uh, they <laughs> are guys. two of the main actors. They're part of my uh, committee, and uh, they're helping set up and organize the event for the weekend. Well, so it looks like they are dressed uh, 
in something pretty special. I don't know. I don't feel uh, like I'm fitting in today. No, no. <laughs> yeah, here, we'll fit you in. Yeah, they're both yeah. in kit, which is period appropriate for the time. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're coming here for the weekend to... Yes, we are. There'll be lots for the kids to do. The, they can try throwing the tomahawks or the throwing knives to see how good they are. Mm -hmm. There'll be leather craft for the kids to make things with beadwork and everything. Because the rendezvous is like a big family get-together once a year. Okay. And uh, the buckskinners and the mountain men would come down and they'd trade their furs and they'd buy new supplies. If they had a pot that had a hole in it, they'd try and get it fixed. And, okay. And they'd drink and they'd go around and talk to their buddies and see who they <laughs> haven't seen for a while. So this is what's happening here? Reenactment of this? Here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned about 30 or so reenactors are going to show up? Yes. They have approximately 30 uh, reenactors that are coming. Uh, they'll be bringing all different types of wares with them, as Kevin said. Uh, they'll be having trade blankets. So okay. what that means is they'll uh, come out and they'll put a blanket in front of their tent and they'll uh, be looking to trade or sell the supplies that they have collected throughout their journeys uh, okay. from the year. So by the yard sale like back in the days? <laughs> Yeah, right? Kind of. Similar? Okay. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, a lot of things will be handcrafted uh, with natural leathers, natural furs, uh, blacksmithing tools, hand forged, uh, potteries, leather work. So great like learning that. opportunity as well, right? Like I'm throwing this because I have no idea what I'm talking about, but this sounds like I would learn a lot oh, yes. from coming For out sure. and my kids. And So family friendly event, obviously? 100% family friendly. Okay, so this is happening Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday here at Wagon Wheel Corn Maze from 10 till 4. Wow, okay. So once you show up, you can participate in all the activities that are on the site, have a good time, For hang sure. out. For sure. Uh, some of the activities include uh, tomahawk throwing, okay. uh, archery, um, knife tossing, we've got some blacksmithing demonstrations. Uh, what other activities? Candle dipping. Candle, Candle dipping, dipping, yeah, bead wow. work. Making bead work and that. Leather work. People will show you how to set traps, how they used to do it then. Wow. Yeah, trap and, uh, setting. Uh, yeah. We've got period rug hooking, uh, blacksmithing. The odd instrument player. Lots of know, music going on. Music okay. So games, that. period appropriate games. Uh, different competitions. They were big about competitions. So we've got uh, egg toss competitions. We've got like tug of war competitions. Uh, obstacle courses called Mountaineer Run. Cool. So lots of activities that the public uh, can watch or participate in. So it looks like this is like a full day. If I showed up at 10 o'clock, I'd probably uh, have a good time for the whole afternoon. For the whole day, yeah. every hour, okay. something different going on. Wow, I'm looking forward to it. Like I want to show up. I am definitely into this. So. Big family reunion, so. Yes, so you were talking to me that you really love reenacting and, yes. and participating bring his, in. Yes, bring in history alive. You can read it in a book, but it's not the same. Oh, so this is yeah. really feeling it then. It and is. connecting to it is. what actually happened, right? Yes, oh, definitely. Okay, so we can expect, I see the tents there, so people are going to yep. be setting up camp for. Yes, there'll be tents all over the place, different style tents and shelters that they would have stayed in. And okay. Traditional cooking, they'll be cooking their meals. So and you're that. leaving the, the real life oh, yes, we're leaving when, you're, yes, when you're here. Yes, okay. We're going back in history and see what it was like. And that's the only way to find out about history is to get involved uh -huh. in that. I, yes. When I first started, I went to a fella and he said, we're going to do 1812. And he put a red coat on me and it was like a light Something started. Something lit up for that you. Was 20, that was 30 years ago. So there's a passion for living Yes, there is. Living we'll dress you up and guaranteed you'll be <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I need to, I need to get the, some new gear here for this yes, event. Yeah. And the kids like to come and see all of what's going on and that, how it was way back when. Very cool. You know. Yeah. And the weekend is looking like the weather is going to be spectacular. Yes. The sunshine is going to be here, so yep. we're inviting everybody to show up, right? Yeah, everybody. Bring so you'll be here so they can I'll come and meet here. you, take a picture yep. with you and learn yep. from you. And yeah, I'll be doing the handicrafts with some beadwork and things like that okay. so they can do that. Yeah, yeah. they're going to find out we didn't have TVs or radios back then. Yeah, no, and so no electronics or you anything going on this weekend. And, and kids, you won't miss it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get lots to come and get lots of nature at Wagon Wheel. <laughs> Very good. So. I think this is a great way to be active, right? I promote health and fitness around Norfolk yep. County, so this is a good way to be outdoors and enjoy right. and just soak up well, the sunshine and, and soak up the nature. With calling, the Buckskinners net, uh, they were uh, environmentalists. Mm -hmm. We didn't over trap an area or anything like that because that was our livelihood. And we made sure we used every part of the animals there and we made sure when we moved on, you didn't even know we were there. No trace. So Again. that's how it ties in with nature's calling. Thank you for your time now and thanks you for want, your time. Yeah. If you want, oh, I, I, could, what's going on I could teach you how to skin an animal. Okay. <laughs> but but I'm, I'm willing to learn you anything. Bring, you bring the squirrel. Okay. And all. <laughs> squirrel. We'll start small, right? Yes, we'll start okay. small. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, so you got a great gang of people here, Robin. Uh, this is going to be an exciting weekend. So you love to do this too, right? Oh, yes, I do. I've been doing it since 1984. Wow. 
But the only thing I don't like about this, on a rainy day, no. it's hard to cook. <laughs> it's hard to cook. Hard to cook. Hard to have a good fire, huh? Yeah, you can't get fire going. Then the great Sunday comes, ready to go home, rains. Oh. You gotta take all your wet gear down. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a lot of work. I do tent camping. I'm not that traditional, <laughs> and I know what you're talking about. That's, uh, yeah, that's about the only fault about it, eh? Weather. Everything else you love. Pardon? Everything else you love. Everything else, yeah. Okay. Love teaching kids? Love teaching families? Everything. Yes. Even the people are different. You know, like, it's one big family. Mm -hmm. So you, you guys go to the similar events and get to know each other? Yes. Quite a number of times. Yeah. <laughs> Not the first time you meet this guy, though, so you've been, you've been working it's with It's one big one. family. Yes, very good. Yeah. That's what it is, not we, Robin? One it big sure family. One person over. gets hurt and everybody knows about it. Well, are you, Robin? Are you going to be dressed up in the, I will, in the period costume? I am no, going no. to be dressed as a, a white native. Okay. So, a lady that has been taken in by a native uh, gentleman. And that's what, that was very common back then. Was it? Yes. Okay. Are there any reenactors that come in as a family? Oh, Pretty yes. much every yeah. family okay. is a family. All right. So, Some just uh, uh, multi generational. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So uh, a way to, to connect with each other as well, right? Like taking yes. that time out of the busy life yes. and yeah. we show have up one here. One family comes in and they do archery, and uh, the mother and father and the, the, the boy they all shoot archery. Wow! And they're really good. <laughs> they're really good, they so they can really show off their skills and yeah. let us know how, to, yeah. how we yeah. can do the same. Yeah. Okay. No, so I thank you for your time. So I invite you to show up. So this weekend, Mountain Man Rendezvous at Wagon Wheel Produce and uh, Corn Maze. So just west of Simcoe uh, on the seventh concession. Really easy to find, right? Just a few minutes off outside of Simcoe. Starts Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 4. Gonna have a lot of time, good weather. It's gonna be good, okay? Dress up with the right gear and have a good time. Learn and connect with nature. So thank you so much, guys. Have a great weekend. I All hope right. that you have a blast. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Emily. Yes, okay. I have Bye. a I've got a question for you. Yes. The question is, there's room in the group for you to join. Oh yeah? So you want me to join in? Sure. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm thinking about it. I'll get back to you on that. Alright. Hold Robin. Okay. I, I like the tending part. Like I'm a camper, so I have a connection there. Maybe I just need to learn more about the history. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, so this was so much fun talking to the reenactors that are going to be set up here at the uh, Mountain Men Rendezvous this weekend at uh, Wagon Wheel Produce and Corn Maze. Woo! Losing a piece here, I better not do this. Okay. So this is just one of the examples of the activities that are going on uh, on this fantastic property. I've been here a few times and I really love it. I want to show you more activities that are going on because my kids have a good time every time they come. So here is a little labyrinth that they can walk through. They neat. Uh, we were out at Cornstalk this weekend and there's a lot of games. And once you pay the entry fee for the Killarn Maze, you can play. Uh, make it a full day, bring a picnic, play the games, connect with nature, walk. So this is a really good way to be fit and active uh, while having a good time. And you don't have to leave your kids behind because they can show up with you. This is always family friendly location. The event this weekend, the Burning Man event is definitely family friendly. A little bit of everybody's going to show up uh, and you can learn and you can play and you can have a really good time. There's a little bowling station here, very neat. We were just playing this on Saturday night and that was a hit with my family. There's a lot of picnic tables and places where you can bring your own food and set up, but there will also be food vendors this weekend. Uh, so we don't need to worry about bringing too much gear. Just come up and enjoy the event. Um, this costs $7 to get in, it's happening Saturday and Sunday at this great location. It's a good stage, so it's supposed to be some music this weekend as well. I'm not sure if they will be on the stage or not, but they are really well set up at this location to feature live entertainment, local artists. Good spot to take pictures also if you want to take your kids and take a few shots with them. This will be a good location. There's a few setups like this one. Super fall, looking good. So if you are just watching now, this is Emily Chanda from Go Norfolk. I am a local wellness coach. I empower uh, people, couples, uh, companies and organizations to make some healthy changes. So there is a better physical and mental health. So good. And being outdoors is huge for me. I love connecting with nature and I think it is so important in this day and age where we are busy, we are running after everything. 
uh, so many people dealing with mental health issue, with depression, with anxiety. Uh, so I invite you to come outside. Uh, this weekend is supposed to be so nice around Norfolk County, so please do not stay in your house. Come out at an event like this one, the, um, the Mountain Man Rendezvous, or any other event that's going on around Norfolk County. Come and walk, breathe some fresh air, uh, enjoy what the season has to offer. <sighs> feels so good. I really enjoy being out, and this is a great location. So again, uh, this is open uh, on weekends, Saturdays and Sunday. Uh, wagon wheel produced and uh, corn maize uh, through so uh, Saturday and Sunday through September in October the extended hours you can actually come through the maze on um, Friday night and Saturday night so you need to bring your spotlight and <laughs> get um, you know travel through and make sure that you don't get lost they have really cool maps so you can see oh, I'm losing some second time losing it so this is the map of the corn maze this is a Canada 150 theme this year so while you come for the event this weekend you also have access to the whole property you can be um, exploring the maze have a good time with the games have some food and make a whole day out of it where you're outdoors oh, let's do something else there's something new so there's always new additions to they're offering, I see something, a game I haven't played yet, so I definitely need to come back with the little ones and enjoy that. But I really think that the corn maze is a great way to be active this fall. Let's walk around a little bit more, really enjoy the corn maze. I think it's a neat thing, it's very seasonal, unique, not every place does have this. Norfolk County is a huge corn producer, one of the biggest one in Canada. Um, so there's a lot of corn and we can do maze and walk around. So I'm gonna have a quick look here through and showcase. So you make sure that you come back. So $7, make your way west of Simcoe, wagon wheel, produce and, uh, so yeah, wagon wheel, produce and corn maze <laughs> and have a super good time with your family. So look at this. I have a map, so I guess I can explore a little bit further now. I'm not afraid to get lost. <laughs> Uh, the terrain is really easy to walk in, just bring a good pair of walking or running shoes, uh, but it's really well done, it's really well groomed, uh, so there's no, not too many concerns there. Come with your family, come with your friends, have a good time and enjoy. So thank you so much for tuning in. I had a great time, a great afternoon at Wagon Wheel Produce and uh, Courtney's. I've heard that a few times, huh? <laughs> so be outside, be active, enjoy what the season has to offer. Breathe in the sunshine, soak up the sun while it's here. It is fall and it's an amazing reason to celebrate. Norfolk County has so much to offer. So thank you so much for tuning in. Come out this Saturday and Sunday for the um, Walking Man rendezvous at the Wagon Wheel Produce. They are waiting for you. The reenactors are gonna be here. There's about 30 or so of them coming from all over Ontario, from Northern Ontario to Southern Ontario. They gather up and showcase history, living history, and they, it's very interactive so you can play games, learn, and try different things. And come for a walk in the wagon, in the, sorry, in, in the corn maze. So thank you, this is Emily Chanda. I'm looking forward to showcase a next uh, Norfolk County partner next time around. So thank you for tuning in. Have a fantastic day.